This is a video showing more of the problems that Kenny has created. That is for a smoke detector that is obviously not mounted to anything. Don't know why he would have done that, but clearly he thinks that that's okay. This is our ceiling fan. This is for the ceiling fan on a vaulted ceiling. Clearly, it's not hooked onto anything. So, what happens when you try to run the ceiling fan with that just being loose? Again, another thing that Kenny Fight thought was perfectly correct, but it appears to me may have some issues. Here is a mounted door that Kenny installed. Uh, don't know if he was planning on, well, uh, I don't know what he was planning to do with it, but according to him, it was a door that was ready to be trimmed out and everything was fine with it. Hate to be a child and get my finger caught in there. Not, not really sure what Kenny was planning here. We have a, a triple box, but only two switches in it, so I'm... Again, I have no idea what he planned on doing there. Maybe he was going to drywall over the rest of the box that wasn't needed. But just more work to show that this is almost becoming laughable at this point in time. This is the upstairs bathroom. This is the bathtub that Kenny had made. He clearly leveled it out with the bathtub. And then he had all this metal wrapped around it. Um, I'm assuming that the metal was correct, but you certainly don't... You don't run it flush with the bathtub. And I, again, this is Kenny's idea of quality work. Again, here's another smoke detector box that Kenny seemed to feel was perfectly fine and... No problem here. Uh, clearly, there is a huge problem, but that's Kenny's work for you. Another one of Kenny's smoke detector boxes. Um, I have no idea what he was thinking, or I don't know if he lacks the intelligence to think, but it's not connected to anything. It just wiggles around in there. So, just some more damage that's been done to the house. 